Hmm. What should I do for my next project? I think I got it. All right, welcome back to the workshop. It took me a while to decide what the next project would be. I don't have anything that I really need right now, but um, so let's just try something that I haven't done before. Uh, as you saw in the opening, I have something like four demolishers, and I've never used the rockets. I don't think I even own any of the rockets. So I thought what I would try is to modify a demolisher, at the very least, to be essentially just a strife. So there's the 3D printable kit. One thing verse and the link will be in the description as you'd expect. And it's basically um, two parts that you uh, you print. And I think you glue them to the shell. I haven't looked at, at the listing lately, but uh, the listing does give you a general guideline of where to cut. And I've done some visual inspection of trying to find where the lines match up, and I think I have a pretty good handle on it. So, I guess I'm going to get started. At the start of this project, I don't really know where it's going to take me as far as what internals I might put in this or anything like that. Uh, I genuinely don't have any idea right now. I just, uh, I think I'm just going to make a stripe out of this demolisher and then worry about it later. Um, I've already removed the pump. And apparently this one has no batteries in it, which is fine. So, let's go. Okay, quick note, uh, since this is my first time disassembling a demolisher, um, the rail section has three smaller screws, and I think the fourth smaller screw was here. This back corner has a longer screw. It looks like all the other screws were approximately the same length as one another. Now I think this thing has kind of a multi-layer shell where the this part is separate from the underneath. So don't really know how this comes apart. This is the first for me. This is an exploratory process. <clears throat> Alright, so at this time, I don't really know what I might want to put in these internals. Um, I think there's a two-stage flywheel cage that you can get for this maybe an OFP, and that might be interesting, but I don't know that I'm ready to make the jump to two-stage. Um, although I think you can get some pretty nice FPS from that. So, maybe I'll just remove the launcher and uh, go from there. Um, and then I could even kind of shelve it and have it as a possible thing to work on in the future with internal upgrades. So here's the kit, and uh, I can probably put up an image. From the Thingiverse page, basically what it boils down to is you're cutting roughly as close to this top section as you can and keeping some of the outline of the kind of the barrel shape. Although really, if you were to try and reuse the hamp all that really matters is this central tube. The outside of it doesn't really factor into it. Basically, this um, in the kit, there's a, there's a couple of grooves. There's one right here, one right here. It's kind of the frame of a groove leading into this one. And as far as I can tell, um, that's where parts of the shell that you keep kind of slot into it. Okay, so I'm done with the first section cut. I went for essentially a straight shot across um, in part to give myself an easier time of working with the rest of it. So it's for now, this just came straight off. Um, this is from a combination of hacksaw, dremel, and uh, angle pliers, whatever, wire cutters, these things. Um, 
So I'm sure that I'm going to have to remove more material, but here's what I'm working with so far. The um, This part here wants to go in front of kind of a stopper that's built into the 3D printed part. Um, this part here wants to go behind this and slot into here, so I think I'm going to have to cut that back so, so it's flush with the flat part and not the angle of the missile launcher. This part here is going to go in front of it again, so it'll kind of be a mixture of front and back. Still haven't figured out if I'm removing this part with the uh, screw on the front. I'm at the very least removing this flat part of it, but then what I don't know if this goes in front of there. I'll figure that out, though. One of the other things I forgot to mention is that this uh, 3D printed part is available in, I'm pretty sure, in Picatinny and in standard Nerf rail. So I don't have any Picatinny accessories. I went with standard Nerf. All right, so I think I finally have the shell about where it is acceptable to me. Um, a little bit too much came off in this area here, but overall I had to remove a lot more than I anticipated that I would. So let me, this is friction fit on right now, obviously I would be using some kind of glue long term, but uh, here is roughly what the bottom of the shell looks like. Um, there was yeah, basically a lot more taken out in some of these sections than I thought there would be. But realistically, I think when you're done, you want the top of this section here of the of the printed part to be mostly flush with the lighter orange of there. And this can just kind of slide right in there. The screw hole at the front does line up, and I'm not sure if you really need this uh, screw support here, but I kept it in. It does appear to fit with the rest of the shell. You could probably do without that, but I can't say for sure. Um, yeah, like this. This is looking good. And so now that I know more about how this is going to come out in the final way on this half, I will look at doing the same for the other half. And maybe I can do, maybe I can cut it just somewhat higher so that, uh, so that I have less work. Oh, that's, of course, that comes right out. But yeah, I'll be leaving this uh, screw post in the front here. It's going to go around that. Um, the printed part wants this ribbing here to be removed. Yeah, looking pretty good, and I don't think you'd really need to watch all the dremeling because I wouldn't want to watch it if it was me, so. Okay, well, for now, here is what we have. I finished cutting the other side of the blaster. Um, again, unfortunately, I went a little bit too high in this section. Actually, I think I went even higher. Uh, oh well. A little high right here. This time, before I, uh, let me show you. I approached the removal of the missile launcher in different ways on each side. This is the side that I removed first, and I cut the launcher much smaller here. And on the other side, I was trying to leave more of this intact and leave less on here, but that may have been the wrong approach. So, anyway. If I was to paint this, obviously I would fill this in, this little gap, and probably a little bit of this with some putty, and just make it, uh, just make it flush there. Um, overall, I like the profile of this. I'm not sure I'm super in love with how it feels, but uh, really, the look, I think, is phenomenal. Um, I even like the, the two tones of orange. Um, so, when you reassemble the blaster, you can presumably still use this, this, and this screw hole. This, interestingly, this uh, kit adds 
a hole all the way through. You can't you can't screw one into the other, but you'll see. I don't know if this is due to printing tolerances or what, but um, there is a, something of a gap right here. So I would want to try to use a bolt and nut to pinch this closed. In addition to because if I just if I just use the one that's part of the blaster, this, this still has this gap. So I'd want to pinch that too, using this this hole and a bolt and nut. Um, as I think I mentioned before, for the time being, I don't currently have a plan to put new internals in this. This was just a test of the 3D printed parts themselves. So right now, the interior is totally stock, and I think I even accidentally pulled a wire out. Um, but I like what I have here. And the launcher is going to a friend who I think had an idea about something to do with it as a project, but who knows if that will materialize, we shall see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and happy Nerf Day to you.